baby scrapbook came back with another layout. This one is for off the board. And these are some pictures of my daughter and I's trip back home and when we stopped at Mount Rushmore. And um, so these are the papers and stuff I'm going to be using. Um, I went through my travel. I have a little travel envelope where I try to stick all anything that has to do with travel into it. So I'm just picked out a couple pieces that I'm going to work with. All right, here is the um, layout I am um, going to be using as my inspiration from off the board. And here is where I'm going to use these um, uh, pictures and I'm going to back them in two different colors and um, but they're pretty close it's just a gray and a white so there's not a lot of um, difference between the two so here's the white ones and then the other two will be backed in a gray and I'm going to place these along that green paper I have already here down and remember this is um, off the board it's been going on all month long uh, a lot of people are doing it every single day. Um, Crystal at Pineapple Paper started this a couple of years ago. And she does it, I think it's the last Wednesday of every month. And then for the month of July, she does it every day. And so I'm just uh, participating on Thursdays. And I think this is the last Thursday of the month. So I think this is my last one, and I had so much fun with it. I would have loved to have been able to play along all month, but uh, summer is a little busy, <laughs> so I wasn't able to. But I did enjoy playing along just on Thursdays. So um, in the pictures here, oh, so anyways, I was going to say, go and check everybody else out <laughs> that has been playing along. Um, I have all the links down below. And yeah, people are just amazing with what they come up with. And they can take things, I using, I'm using an actual um, layout that I'm using as my inspiration from off the board, but other people, it's amazing what they can find inspiration in. And it just, yeah, I just love watching everybody. Okay, so these pictures are fun because the very bottom picture, um is yeah i don't know if you've ever been to mount rushmore but if you have there is the um like the hall of flags and all the different flags well we found montana's state flag and my daughter and i so we took a picture of the base of it and it talks about montana when it was established and then we got a picture of the flag actually flying up in the sky so i stuck that there and then there's a, a selfie that my daughter took of her and i in front of Mount Rushmore, and then a close-up shot that we have. I have a lot more pictures of this that I'll be doing, but these are the ones pictures that just came off of my phone. My daughter had her big camera there, so she has a lot better pictures that we'll I'll do later. All right, I put that orange as a um, stripe on each side of the green, and that green and orange paper came from a uh, paper pad I picked up at um, Michael's. It was one of those hot buy pads. And it has, they actually have like a, a shimmer to them. They're really, really pretty papers. And so then I used this pocket card that I picked up at the Dollar Tree, I think about a year ago. And it had these, like a map, um, in different like stripes so I cut out the stripes and then I used my little um, hexagon punch and turned each stripe into banners and that's what I'm doing here I'm just turning these and then this one here says um, I think it says travel and I'm just turning those into banners and making a little bit banner collage up here on the top and that, that'll change here in a little bit. I'm going to, I think, move it down and add a couple more banners to it. And I put that sticker that says road trip, I think. 
not read it from here and I don't have the layout in front of me, but um, it came, uh, my daughter and I found it at um, a full pit sticker pack at, I think that one was Michael's too. And we knew that we were um, going to be um, scrapbooking the um, trip. So uh, we thought that those would be perfect. These stickers here are banners from, um, I believe, my Maggie Holmes um, sticker book. And they're clear stickers, so they work really good on the white paper. And I am changing it so it looks more like a, like banners that um, kind of flow like they have in the uh, inspiration piece. Instead of the little triangle banners, I'm using these ones. And uh, I like the way that those look. So now I am getting my uh, little banners on the top here, a here down. And this is where I, I believe I add in more. I decided it needs more. And I, I do move that little dot. I think it has a little star on it. <laughs> I keep it, but I just I move it here in a second because it's kind of in an awkward spot. Um. Yep, here I am adding another banner. This one's just a plain, um, I think it's a polka dot one with the green on it. So it's a good contrast um, because the uh, maps were kind of all get flowing into each other a little too much. So I wanted to um, change those. And then that little banner had uh, like a plane or something on it so I just changed it so that you couldn't see what it was because we were not on a plane we were driving <laughs> and then these little banners I um this sticker sheet I got at um, the Dollar Tree and so I put those little banners up there and I will put um something across them in a second and then I used that um arrow up there but I hit, it got blended in really bad with the background so I changed it out for uh, the red one that really um, popped. And then that, I just moved the gold one I had originally up there down to the bottom. So they're just little arrows. They're not really pointing at anything, you know, just the pictures. And uh, I just like the way that they looked. So there's where I put the uh, another piece of map and it with an arrow up there for that top banner. And then I'm going to put my daughter's picture here. This is just one of the selfies that she took um, with Mount Rushmore behind her. And I'm going to put it onto this piece of paper here that um, I just pulled out of my um, scraps bin. And it has these cool little uh, tickets on the back side or, you know, like a... Or receipt tickets or something like that, but I'm using the polka dot sign since you're not going to see much of it. And I was trying to say if I want to use any more of those stickers and I end up, no, I don't. I really like them though. I take this um, pocket card here and I, it says travel on it. I just cut off the bottom because I wanted to fussy cut that um, globe out eventually. Not for this layout, but for something else. I just know I do. <laughs> um, and I put the travel, and then I'm going to turn that is going to be my title. I'm going to add a little bit of handwriting to it and turn that into the title. And here's where I'm going to um, outline those uh, banners because I still thought that they were there was not enough definition um, and they were still blending into each other. So... I wanted to be able to see exactly what um, was up there. So I outlined those and uh, I changed out my pen because the stickers have a slick surface to it. And so I wanted to make sure that um, the Sharpie, uh, I knew it wouldn't come off. So um, now here's where I'm writing, uh, travel to Mount Rushmore. And that's my title. I do add in, oh, I make my own little dots. So I take a piece of that um, map 
that I had left over and I just cut or punched out some little bitty circles and now I'm just going to place these little circles around like um, sequins and I'm just placing them around different spots and I'm going to glue them down and then I actually am going to bring in some sequins too to go with each um, of these dots so I'm going to have sequins and these little map um, dots map <laughs> homemade sequins <laughs> I guess this is what they are and, uh, and those are going to be my little scattery sp spots for the layout here and here's where I'm trying to decide which sequins I want to bring in and so I end up going with gold to bring out the gold I, oh, I do red and gold. That's what it is. I want the red to bring out the red in the, um, some of the embellishments. I like the word travel and the arrow at the top. And then I do bring in the gold to go with the gold arrows and the camera that I have there. The camera came from the Dollar Tree and it was in a sticker, 3D stickers. Um, and I really wanted to use the camera, but after I get these all on here, I'm looking at it going, it looks, it's the only thing I have popped up. It's like everything else is flat, I hear it flat down. And so that camera is kind of sticking out, which would have been okay since it is in the center, I guess. But I decide I want to bring in a couple more things and pop them up. And so I'm trying to decide here what it is that I want to bring in and I go back to those same stickers that I got the camera off of and I'm going to bring in the car and the sunglasses so at first I put the sunglasses down here just because it was a nice bright sunny day and then I put the car up here but I thought that looked really weird so I switched those two and so now I have three things that are popped up and that have that same shimmer and I was still thinking it was still looking a little uh, plain. So I'm going to come in with some um, black splatter. And, I, with my, and I'm going to do some black splatters with my uh, watercolors. And I really, really like the way that the splatters look on this. It's not overdone and but it looks finished in my opinion so here it is so here are the close-ups i hope you enjoyed this if you did please give me a thumbs up if you want to see more please subscribe thank you so much for watching i really appreciate it bye